Hey guys! Today I'm going to be doing my Valentine's Day lookbook tutorial thing. And yeah, sorry I didn't upload a video yesterday. I just kind of ran out of time because homework. Ew. But yeah, I know it's kind of late because every, every other. I eh, can't talk today. Because every other beauty guru's already filmed their lookbook, and I am just here like playing Flappy Bird, avoiding filming, but. Yeah, hopefully you guys see this before Valentine's Day, and if not, then, you know, you can still wear these looks if you just want to be all, you know, heartsy, lovey, <laughs> I don't know, but, yeah, let's get started with, I have three different looks, and I'm going to be showing you all of them, and then going into detail, eh, into detail on where I bought the things in the look, so, yeah. And I'm going to do a makeup look and a hair look and then three different outfits you can wear. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the main parts of my outfit is this pink top that I'm wearing. It's got a little silver heart right in the middle. And I just thought this was really cute that I found in my closet. I've had this for a long time and surprisingly it still fits pretty well. Um, I'm pretty sure I just got it at Walmart, but you know, like I said, I just found it in my closet, so it's like, why not? And then, you don't have to tuck this into your pants. I just like that look. It reminds me of Bethany Moda, which, speaking of Bethany Moda, my jeans are from Air Apostle from the Bethany Moda collection. They're her high-waisted jegging jeans, and I really love them because they're like slim jeans, and... They are so cute. For shoes, you have two options. I like these. this option better. I like these little silver Duraflex flats. And they just got this little silver, shiny, sparkly era, eh, area. And then the rest of it is just like this silky-ish material. And then the other option, if that's too cold, you could wear Sperry's. And I didn't put socks on with mine. But these are just my silver fairies. They match the shirt very well. So those are my two shoe options. For the accessories, I'm just wearing this cute little pink bracelet. I'm not sure exactly what store I got it at, but I got it somewhere at Trader's World. Same thing as my earrings. I got them at Trader's World. They're just these little bows. My second outfit is very similar to my first outfit. I just thought I would show this outfit because I just like it. It's another shirt that I had from my closet and I'm pretty sure it was from Walmart. And it's just got all these little different colored hearts on it. And then I'm wearing my Bethany Moda high waisted jeans again and I've tucked my shirt in because I like that look a lot. Again, you have the same choices for shoes. You could wear other shoes with this. I would either wear my silver flats like I showed before or my silver Sperry's. For jewelry, I'm wearing this little white bracelet that I got from my great grandmother so I really like it. This little heart necklace with wings and I got it in like a crane machine. I'm pretty sure it was like Hannah Montana or something but it doesn't say Hannah Montana on it so we're good. And then the same bow earrings which I showed you in the previous look because I really like these earrings a lot. Okay now I just now found out that this shirt and this shirt are from Myers. Just in case you guys wanted to know where they were from, I thought they were from Walmart. They're from Myers. Just I don't think they sell them anymore, but you never know. So yeah, I just wanted to tell you guys that. So in case you went to Walmart looking for these and then they weren't there because they don't sell them at Walmart. So yeah. My third look is a more casual laid back look. I have this cute heart sweater. It's navy blue with all these little silver stud things. I got it from Forever 21. I'm wearing my same Bethany Moda jeans because I love them so much. You can get them at Arrow. With this outfit, I'm wearing definitely the Silver Sperry's. I think that fits this kind of a style best. For accessories, it's I'm not really wearing a lot of accessories. The only accessories I'm wearing are these cute silver owl earrings that I got from <coughs> Glitter. And they used to have these little purple beads hanging from them, but they fell off. They were only a dollar, and I just wear them like this now. Now for the makeup tutorial. This can be worn with all of the outfits I showed you. It can be adjusted to fit whatever colors you're wearing. If you want to not like have pink with blue, like if you were wear something like this. Most likely, I'm going to wear the pink outfit on Valentine's Day. So my look's going to have pink in it. You could 
change that to like silver or anything like that for like the eyeshadow and stuff. But yeah, let's get started with this makeup look. First I'm going to apply my CoverGirl uh, Simply Powder Foundation because it's a really light, nice foundation and I feel like it matches my skin tone very well. Then I'm going to use my e.l.f. press powder in ivory because I feel like this just sets everything together. Even though I did use a powder foundation, this just sets my makeup very well. And it was only a dollar. I love it so much. Then I'm going to conceal any imperfections and under my eyes with the Moisture Wear CoverGirl Concealer. It's a stick concealer in the color Fair. And to blend that in, I'm going to be using this brush. It's like a small foundation brush by Mineraliza. I just feel like it blends your concealer in better than those tiny little concealer brushes. Those don't work for me. Then I'm going to use my favorite, favorite, favorite e.l.f. blush in the color Twinkle Pink. It's this nice pink shimmery. It's got little gold specks in it. It's a lovely pink blush. I've already hit pan on it. This is my second time that I've purchased this. I love it so much. And I'm just going to use my Mineraliza blush brush to apply this. You don't even need a lot. Like it is such a nice pink and you can get a lot of product by only using a little bit. Then I'm going to apply a little bit, a little bit, not very much of this LA Colors bronzer in the color bronze and just using this pink little contouring brush that I got from like the set for Christmas. I'm pretty sure you can buy it at Walmart, but I got it in 2012. Now for the eye makeup. Again, I'm going to be doing kind of a pink eye look because that's what I'm going to be wearing is like pink eyeshadow and stuff because I'm wearing a pink outfit so yeah you can adjust the colors by whatever you're wearing for Valentine but I'm going to be wearing the first look that I showed you and that's pink and I found like the perfect pink eyeshadow that I want to wear so I'm going to use that in this tutorial first I'm going to use my elf eye primer this part came off but I love this it's a sheer eye primer like you won't see any color from this but I love it so so much it blends in very nicely and it looks like tannish when you first apply it kind of like a skin tone color but it blends in very nicely then I'm going to be using this color of my e.l.f. eyeshadow duo in Berry Mix. It's only a dollar and I'm going to use this brush that I got in the set once. It just looks like this to apply that to my lids and a bit up to my brow bone. You don't need to apply this color very heavily because we're going to be using another color over it. So you don't want this color to stick out more. Than the other color that we're going to be using. You just blend it in so it doesn't look bad. Now I'm going to be using the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the color Inked and Pink and apply it out to my outer eye, blending in, blending from the middle of my eye to my outer eye on the lid. Give it a nice shimmery pink that will last long and doesn't look overpowering like some pinks are. It won't make you look like you have pink eye or anything like that. Because some pink eyeshadows can do that and just make sure you blend it in. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's a really pretty light pink and I would definitely recommend it if you need a nice pink eyeshadow. 
Then I'm just going to apply a little bit of white eyeshadow to my inner corner using this e.l.f. Brightening Eye Palette in the color Punk Funk. I'm just using this white color. This will make you look more awake and brighten your eyes. Then I'm going to use my L'Oreal Micro, I'm not sure exactly what it's called, but it's this really nice L'Oreal Mascara. It's not telling me what the name of it is, but it's just in this little packaging and it says L'Oreal on it. This is what the brush looks like. And I'm not going to use eyeliner, so I'm going to do the technique that I've seen Bethany Moda use, where you go really close to your line, where you would put eyeliner and and do that with your mascara to make it kind of look like you're wearing mascara and eyeliner. And then don't forget about your bottom lashes. Then I'm going to be using this e.l.f. eyebrow kit just to fill in my eyebrows and make them look better. It's in the color medium. And this was only like $3 and it works so well. Like I definitely recommend this. Just You don't want to use too much or your brows will look too dark if you don't like that look. I like dark brows personally, but you know, you don't want to make them look too dark. It just has a little light brown powder and then a darker brown gel you can use and then it comes with this little brush. Then for the last part of this makeup is the lips. I'm going to be using my CoverGirl Lip Slicks in the color Princess, which is a tinted lip balm. It's very moisturizing and really pretty. And then over that, for a nice glossy effect, I'm going to be using this nice sparkly pink Milani lip gloss in 705 Lip Fuse. I got this at the Dollar Tree. So this is the finished makeup look. It's a really nice natural look that doesn't look like you've gone overboard with your makeup. I really like this. I'm definitely going to be wearing this for Valentine's Day. For a really simple and easy hair look, I'm just going to take my hair and put it up in a high ponytail, leaving the bangs down because I like that look. Some people don't. If you don't like that look, you can put your bangs up in something or like bobby pin them back. But I like this if you can keep it out of your face and stuff. And it's going to look good. This ponytail isn't really a high ponytail or anything. It's more of a low ponytail, but I really, really like it. So you can just stop at that, or you can put your hair up in a cute little headband. If you want to put your hair back, you can do a ponytail and then put this headband on to keep your bangs out of your face if you want to keep them back from your face. And then obviously you have to like smooth it out and brush it and stuff. You can't just leave it like this. Try not to get your earrings caught in it. You have to smooth it and brush it and put them in the headband. It doesn't really look good because I'm doing it really quick, but it can if you use hairspray and you really get your hair up in the headband, then it'll look really good. So yeah, that's it for my Valentine's Day lookbook. I'm sorry this is go not going up on Wednesday, and I know it's only one day before Valentine's Day and I uploaded this really late, but I hope some of you guys get to see it, and if you have plans all weekend for Valentine's Day, I hope you guys get to use this or get an idea from this. So yeah, and just remember, never let anyone criticize you for something you love. Bye, guys.